Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your October reading. Thank you so much for your patience and me getting this out. We are going to be starting with a career reading and then we're going to be moving on to love, getting clarity from the other decks. If this resonates, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you hit that bell, it'll notify you for future readings. I am giving personal readings and just reach out to the email address in the description box below. All right, Capricorn. What messages would you like to share with us regarding career for Capricorn in October 2021? What's going on in career? Excuse me, my cough. <clears throat> Got a couple more. We've got four of swords out. Seven of Pentacles along with Seven of Swords. We are going to need clarity for this, for sure. Hard at work with something new, possibly. This would be collaborating with, collaborating with people in a new kind of way or doing something new. There is a seven of swords in your midst, so we're gonna get some clarity on that because that is a card of basically having the wool pulled over your eyes or pulling the wool over somebody else's eyes. So we'll just see a little bit more about that. Four of swords. Four of swords is kind of a, um, a meditative, contemplative card. So definitely, like you're in your head about something, working on something. Something regards to the work you've put in. Ah, uh, being, about being your own boss. I think, yeah, about shining your light as bright as it can be. You're kind of in the lovers, wow. So lovers is Gemini energy. It doesn't always have to be romantic, but also it is um, always kind of suggests that there's a choice at hand. Wow, all major arcana. I feel that you're creating something new. For some of you guys, this is something that you're already familiar with doing, but putting a new spin on it, perhaps because there was a past disappointment, you know, a past, um, you know, something that, that shook everything up. And because of that, it gave you a fresh perspective on how you want to move forward. Seven of Pentacles. Why are we getting the Seven of Pentacles? This is that moment, the fork in the road, where you take a pause and you look at all the work that you've done. And then you look into the future at all the work that's left for you to do. And you're kind of sitting there resting because it's kind of exhausting. And you're kind of wondering, am I, you're taking stock of the situation and you're wondering, is this all paying off? Am I going where I want to be going? You know, here's where I've been. Here's where I want to be going. And um, is this is this all turning out okay? Something there's been in this moment a little bit of a disappointment, a disappointing feel. Why are we getting five of the cups and four of pentacles? I think you'd like to make more money, Capricorns. I think that while you're proud of your skill set and what this has built. I think that there's something that maybe um, maybe a recent uh, requirement at work um, has as affected your funds. But I feel that you're kind of like, you're, you know, and first, that's only for some of you guys. Four of Pentacles suggests, you know, that pulling in of energy. Sometimes if it's your bank account, literally it's like, okay, start saving again or be frugal. But something has caused you to retract your energy and it's this disappointment. I think that you're kind of, I feel very much like you are taking stock of the situation and you're like, okay, once you start really taking a closer look at everything, even crunching numbers, you're like, hey, you know what? I can do this better. I can work smarter and not harder. And that's what this is. So to do that, you're realizing that you may have to learn something. Some of you guys are going to be going to night classes. Some of you guys are going to be doing some research and pushing you guys further in um, your capabilities in order to, to make more money, 
and, or in order to even free up your schedule a little bit more and make room for life, but to work smarter, not harder. Why are we getting the Seven of Swords, the Deception card? Why are we getting the Deception card for Capricorns? Hierophant. Something uh, to do with your, these Hierophant rules over institutions and belief systems, like your commitments. So let's get a bigger picture. Justice. Something wasn't the way you thought it was something it's coming to light in this moment of the seven of pentacles where you're looking at how much work you put into something how much of yourself you invested you're realizing that maybe it wasn't towards what you thought it was maybe it didn't deserve your energy the way you thought it did because it didn't stand for what you stand for. A little bit more on that. Thank you. Wow, moon card and the fool. This is all, this was major, you guys. These are all major arcana. These are the big messengers of the deck. The seven of swords wasn't minor. This was like, this was no small deal. This, um, this really kind of came out of the dark. Um, and took you by a little surprise, probably. And maybe there were warning signs, there were red flags there, but you didn't, you didn't want to see them. I think that you were committed to a belief around this that you enjoyed because it spoke to something beautiful inside of you. But when we get the justice card, which is ruled by Libra air energy, it's um, the writing of the scales. The balancing of the scales is a better way to say it. And it's always a positive card to get. Um, if there were contracts involved or anything legal, um, this is a very good card to get. Um, very positive. It means that you're gonna come out okay, basically. But it did, um, it threw you sideways a little, but what it also did was it threw you into a very new journey as well. When this rug was pulled out beneath you, you fell back on yourself as a resource. It grew up yourself, it blew up your self-reliance in a good way, it grew it. So now we've got the three of pentacles, which is really kind of working with other individuals or working with another, it's collaboration. It could be even like, you know, being hired out by a client it's or you know comrades at a job trying to kind of i'm trying to flow with all the different meanings but you guys get the, the idea so let's unpack that shall we i'm gonna get another deck because we've used so many of those cards okay capricorn october spirit why are we getting the three of pentacles five of swords why are we getting the three of pentacles Wow, full card again. This is bringing to light that collaborations, there was a collaboration here where there was conflict and the cost of being right. This, this King of Pentacles is an individual, either you, I, I, I feel like it might be you. So this collaborative card of the Three of Pentacles, it's just kind of saying that there was out of this conflict grew kind of this boss energy of the King of Pentacles and this brand new start. Interesting, it's it's kind of, yeah, and there's money waiting to be had. There's a new money offering and I feel like it's almost, <laughs> so the cost of being right in this situation is that you go out on your own, but it seems that that might be a good cost in this case, like you're eliminating any complications. For some of you guys, I think there's kind of a backstabbing energy at work that could have come from a group, that could have come from a single individual, but you know, you're kind of leaving on your terms. You're moving forward on your terms, but it's giving way to a very new venture. And I'm happy to tell you that there is money in this direction when you go in this direction. You're standing by your, your beliefs. You're, you are sticking to what you feel is right. 
And it looks like it's gonna literally pay off. Why are we getting the Ace of Wands? Oh, Ace of Swords. Lots of new beginnings for you, Capricorn. And honestly, I think if it wasn't for, Capricorns are fascinating because, you know, it's like they're that, that goat that wants to get to the top of the mountain and they're going to get there no matter how long it takes. You know, it's like they're, the way that their stubbornness can come into play in work is kind of inspiring. <laughs> you know, it's like they really stick by what they believe in they and they do well and thrive in, within systems. Um, so that being said, the unpredictable and brand new journeys going out on one's own, all that is outside the comfort zone of the typical Capricorn. That's with a lot, I say that with respect to rising and moon signs and, um, and so be a shake up, something unpredictable, shaking everything up, the plan up, the pathway up the mountain is all of a sudden there's been an earthquake and there's rocks and rubble hiding parts of the path. That's basically what has happened in the past, recent past. And that's why we're having all these fool cards pop out, which, which suggest a new start. The pentacles, the aces, the ace of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the ace of wands have all popped out. So this is awakenings, new epiphanies, moving forwards, new starts. This is action. This is inspiration. This is new money coming in on your terms. And you're realizing with a seven of pentacles here popping up again. It was up here, remember? This is the fork in the road where you're looking at all the work you've done and then you're looking at all the work you're going to do. And you're not going to change necessarily. You're not. A lot of you aren't going to be changing um, industries necessarily, but you are putting a new spin on the industry that you already have. You're going to do it your way. And this is at the very beginning where you're getting the, the sparks are basically happening and you're starting to get inspired by... Um, by what you could make happen on your terms inside your skill set. And it's actually giving you some relief from, I think, what was kind of starting to burden you with, with exhaustion. This Ace of Swords, an Ace of Ace, you're getting new messages, new communications. There's a buzz here, the Tower card. So some of you guys are going to be moving, literally moving locations for this. Um, Two of Cups, beautiful. Some of you guys are going to be working within a beautiful partnership. Um, usually this is just between a, one other person. Um, in some cases that can be an entity that can be like um, like wor working alongside maybe a large company or something and whereas that company almost works as a person, as a, a separate entity. And But I feel that this shakeup, you wouldn't have this beautiful union between a partnership in yourself without a shakeup, without all of that. So there's something to be grateful for, which is what we're ending with is the four of swords and that's how we began. So it's, I feel that there's like a beginning and an end to this story and it's still kind of leaving you off in a cliff ending, like a, like hooking you with that ending where it's like you left off on the, the full card and all this inspiration, new money coming in, new ideas, new communications. Um, where are you going to go next? It looks very positive. But my hat's off to you, Capricorn, because you basically made lemonade out of lemons and you stuck by your guns. And this seven of swords, you kind of called the shit out. It came out on its own a little bit. I mean, not to be too visual of that, but you kind of danced through what was kind of a, you danced through an earthquake here. And I'm, I'm proud of you. I think that's really wonderful. All right, you guys. So we're going to put these back and we're going to get your love reading. Um, so going forward, it seems that, you know, you have the experience needed. You have all the tools in your tool kit with work. Um, but being flexible, it's all about being flexible in the month of October. Um, and... I think you're going to do a great job. All right. So love reading, love reading. And I guarantee you the reason why I say that um, 
Capricorn, is that October is going to throw a couple things your way, almost to test your flexibility, okay? And so go with it. Move like a water sign. All right. Capricorns, I love you. This is all about love. What do we need to know about love for Capricorns? Ooh, that is a love offering if I ever seen one. Ace of Wands. Somebody might have their eyes on you. You might have your eyes on somebody. Let's get some more cards on the table. Capricorn. Love in October 2021. Emperor. Right on. Aries energy. Okay, so far this is looking really exciting, but I don't want to speak too soon. I kind of want to get more of the story out. Um, and one more for love, and then I want to get some clarity. There you are, your energy. The devil comes out with the tower. Interesting. Hmm. You know, this tower comes out, but don't let it rattle you too much because I feel like it's coming, it's talking about coming out of a shakeup, like a relationship coming out of a shakeup. Let's, I just want to get some clarity on the tower, please. The star, healing after a shakeup. All right, so let me let me get um, some clarity on the Ace of Wands before I speak to Capricorn. Thank you, the lovers, of course. Gemini energy with the lovers. Emperor, why are we getting the Emperor for Capricorn? You're getting some major arcana end of a phase. This is also possibly going, communicating overseas, over water, or, you know, like from a distance. Um, let's get a little bit more. The King of Rods. Ooh, this is getting interesting. Sorry, please bear with me. I know I can see the eye rolls. There's some people popping out here. Holy crap, the emperor again. Okay, you guys. So this looks like somebody's making um, making a point, maybe with an apology of um, coming, popping back up in your life, coming forward uh, with an offer, possibly trying to get you in bed. Yes, definitely. Um, even if it starts with a wonderful like dinner date or an offer to go for a walk or whatever, that's what they want. They might have moved a little bit of a distance from you at this point, or it just might be a very new phase. If you take this offer from this individual, which keeps on popping up as the emperor, suggests that they are a masculine energy. This could be somebody who's pretty alpha, um, whether it's male or female, that's Aries energy, and it's just no better way to say it, it's pretty alpha. They know what they want. They don't play too many games. They can't help it. They kind of show what they want, like it's, they wear their head on their sleeve. I'll say it that way. They wear their head on their sleeve because they're headstrong. Um, they are typically kind of an ambitious, motivated person, can sometimes be a little bit bossy, but um, they are coming at you. And I think they very much believe that you are their person. They also know that if they, if you take this offer and you move forward with them, that it's gonna have to be a brand new phase. And again, there might be a bit of a distance between you guys for some of your, your readings that that's gonna resonate. So the question is, will there be reciprocity, right? Will there be equal give and take? There is now another individual here and I wanna get some information on the reciprocity. Why are we getting these individuals? Temperance. In this transformation around uh, a sense of reciprocity, I think there might've been some breadcrumbing on this person's part. You know, the emperor might've been breadcrumbing you, not giving you enough attention or not giving you enough, um, yeah. Yeah, somehow not giving what you were putting in. And that could have been like, they weren't showing up when you said, hey, this is when I'm gonna be doing this and that. This is when, you know, 
And a lot of Capricorns, what they say they're gonna do, they do. You know, it's like what you see is what you get. There's not, <laughs> you're not gonna be playing those head games and all that either. So I feel like you guys can meet in the middle here. But I think that they were just getting lazy on the relationship or they were getting, you know, carried away with something else possibly. But there's been a transformation here. Keep on telling me about this transformation. What is this? Oh, there's these two people here that are explaining away the Six of Pentacles. And I want to know why they're there. King of Pentacles. Wow. You keep on getting... Getting another deck. There is healing though after the shakeup, right? I feel that the devil here is your energy. Um, coming out with a hermit and the pentacles. I think that you've gone inside. I don't know if you're really talking to the emperor much um, because I think you have to kind of weigh this and process this um, in your own heads. And so, and you know what? There's this feeling I've got this in my head right now it pops in my head is like you know what they can wait they can wait and you know it's gonna drive them crazy it's gonna drive them crazy and you know what they can be driven crazy that's how it feels <laughs> I can feel some of you guys laughing right now um, anything else on Capricorn energy yeah definitely there's some things that you're like Getting the Two of Pentacles here is like that balancing, weighing the different sides of a story, um, being sometimes confused. And this is you kind of fighting off some inner doubts, you know, like really, yes, your your mind is at work, the wheels are grinding. Tell me more about this tower moment with a star popping out, the get your wish card, the healing card. Ooh, oh my gosh, the tower, yes. So, <laughs> Tower is clarified by the star card, clarified by the tower. Yes, you are going, you're working through the details. You're working through the details. And this is a lot of change that you had no control over. There was an aspect to what went down, you guys, that you had no control over. Um, and I don't typically take just flippers. They have to fly out, but that one just kept on, it kept on dancing on my hand, so. You don't want to put a ton of work back into this. You put a ton of work into something that wasn't, it felt like it wasn't going anywhere. And you now have to kind of focus on you and getting stabilized. Six of Pentacles with King of Rods, all these people. I feel that you've been getting advice, like others have been coming around you um surrounding you in around this person possibly you know like around the subject of this person uh i think that people have their opinions tell me about the transformative card of the temperance ruled by sagittarius energy queen of pentacles you didn't be making this decision on your own but I feel like mom and dad are there basically. Mom and dad possibly have, or even like that kind of parental advice from somebody, if it's not from directly from mom and dad. Yeah, and seven of swords, deception. It's like, don't be fooled again. They're just protective. It's like, and you're protective of yourself. You got this, you're, you're in your hermit mode. You're not gonna be talking about, it. you're like, you gotta do your own processing. People can have their own advice. People can have their own opinions, but you have to make the decision on your own. They just don't want you to get hurt. They don't want deception to take place and um, they don't want you to get hurt. So actually, I feel that this is a good time to actually clear these cards out of the way, reshuffle, and then ask about your person and about like, are they genuine? Are they genuinely giving you the offer? And then what is, because I know that you're confused, right? I know that you're processing and Capricorn, um, you, when you figure something out, you move forward with it. You know what I mean? Like you're just kind of trying to balance out your emotions with what's practical, you know? And hats off to you with that. As, as a water sign, that's a hard one sometimes when you're feeling emotional about something. I definitely have a hard time separating my emotions from the practical sides of life. So, so Capricorn, get an idea of this person with respect peering into them what is this person 
want with you? What are they not telling you? The Emperor. Tell us about the Emperor. Bear with me. with me guys I'm gonna look at it and I'm putting it back in the deck five of swords just taking it but my hand hit that they want stability for those of you who have a family with this person their focus is very much on long-term stability with a ten of Pentacles it's like creating security long-term Building family, security within the family. They're genuinely dis upset, disappointed, and they want to reach out. They want to, with the eight of wands, they want now. If they could, if they could make it before now, they would. If they could go back in a time, they would. With these messages, with the things that they want to say. Um, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Here's our tower. They know it happened. They know what happened. The tower. Tower happened for them too. Seven of Pentacles. They put a lot of work into this. Maybe more than you realize, but why are we getting four of cups? Uh-huh. They're making an offer that they feel is um, being denied, right? They feel that you may be not interested. I think that's them trying to understand the situation. And now they're realizing maybe it's worse than that. Maybe not only are you not interested, uh, but like you've totally moved on. This tower card, Ace of Swords. They wanna tell you something about this tower moment that happened. And you guys realize what a tower moment is, right? So a tower moment is a shake up, something that you had no control over. Now this, this shakes you up at your core, something that you have to fight to rebalance in your life. And they wanna say something, I feel like they wanna make possibly an apology. They want to show you that they're willing to do the work. Yeah, that they've done self work possibly. What about these messages right here? They want communication. So communications are probably happening right now because um, eight of sword, eight of wands is fast. Yep. King of swords, they want to solve this problem. King of swords is a problem solver. At the heart of it, they have the ability to just like stand back from the realm of emotions and be like, what needs to happen? They want to work with you. I feel that this is very genuine, you guys. Um, they, the price of being right was too high. The cost of being right was way too high. Um, they're, yeah. I think that they, they still feel in their convictions on certain things that they might be right on, you know, that they're willing to kind of, but they're kind of shutting up about it right now. Why are we getting Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, they don't want to be alone. Nine of Pentacles comes out with a moon card. It scares them to be alone, you know, um, and they, they want to solve this now. Five of cups. Why are we getting five of cups? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, of course they're feeling that, that way. So they're coming back around. So they're feeling sad. They're feeling disappointed. They're looking at what they've lost. They haven't lost absolutely everything, but they don't even see what they still have because all they can do is look at what they've lost. And it's just, it cuts them up, you know? They're willing to do the work. They're coming forward with an apology. They're coming back with an apology. Like, they want to be done with this. They want to make an offer. I think they found stability with you that they can't find anywhere else. They wanna have good times again. All right, well, I feel like that's really clear, you guys. Um, I feel that they're genuine. They know what they know. They fucked up, um, but it's really, I'm not encouraging you to do anything. I think that you need to be in your, you know, you need to make that decision for you. And a couple cards on Capricorn, where you're at. Some insight about Capricorn, where they're at in their hermitude 
regarding this. Victory. Great card. Six of Wands coming out. Victory. Capricorn. Where is Capricorn at with their love and relationships in October? Beautiful. In a compassionate place. The loving place of the Queen of Cups. Ooh, the world card. Mm -hmm. This is communication over distances. So maybe you're willing to compassionately work from compassion and, and communicate over distances. This is an ending of a phase though. So there's our tower card, you guys. Whatever this was, it shook you up, my God. So why are we getting the tower card? It's, you're not forgetting it, but you know what? This gave way to a transformation within you. It was the catalyst for a transformation for you that needed to happen. And this is not something that you can say, hey, thanks for fucking up my life for a while. No, no, no. This was the universe at work and you can thank the universe. Thank you very much. Um, but there was this transformation. It's like, this is you saying, Hey, if we talk, I'm going to let you know, I'm not the same person I was before. Okay. And you aren't, you are not the same person you were before. Seven of pentacles. This has been popping up throughout your entire reading. This is the third or fourth time. And this is you being like, if I continue to go on this journey, within my industry at work, with, with, within my marriage or within my relationship, if I pick this back up, if I pick the work back up, if I pick up this rake or this hoe or whatever <laughs> gardening tool, this wand that he's holding, I don't know what gardening tool is that? It's just a stick. What is he gonna do? Beat him off the bush? Anyway, if I pick this tool back up, if I keep, then it's gotta be different. It just has to be different. I was saying that through your career reading too. You know, it's, it's like the way it was being done is not okay anymore. There you go. All right. So yeah, there might be some sex involved, you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've changed. You've just changed, sweeties. And you're having victory. You're coming out victoriously from this end of a phase, this big, huge rattle and roll shake up in your life. You've transformed. And there's this new offering right here that's so beautiful. Why? Why is this? I, I know I'm, I should be wrapping it up, but so good I can't stop. Why are you getting this? I want to know what this new offering is. I, I kind of want to deny the pentacles. Interesting. Some of you guys actually might be choosing to go off on your own. You're like, I'm going to take my badass self and seven of pentacles again. Yep, you're choosing not to go on that journey. Eight of pentacles putting in the work for yourself. Like if I'm going to be, if I'm going to be putting this much work into uh, anybody, it's going to be into myself. Um, now that I've gotten started on this transformation, I want to continue and I need to heal. You're going to take some more time to heal possibly, you know, working for compa working with the compassion of the queen of cups up here towards yourself, king of pentacles and star card. Awesome. You know, if this is somebody that you ever relied on financially, if you re relied on the emperor financially, I think you're going to realize you can do this on your own. You're going to be healing. You're getting your wish with the star card. This is beautiful. All right. And that's for some of you guys. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll be having the next flow of readings coming out within about a week or so. Bye.